contacted by the CWA to uh, reach out to their youth programs and their camps. I believe they run about 35 camps across Canada. We've had the opportunity to uh, work with them on a couple of camps. Uh, one here in uh, Burnaby, one up that's going on in Terrace where they're busing kids back and forth from Hazelton. And there was a, a camp earlier this year at spring break at BCIT with uh, some students there that they were working with some young students. We've got a great youth program that reaches out to all different facets of the youth, uh, trying to get young people interested in the trades, non-traditional and traditional opportunities for, for youth. Just cast the net a little wider at a younger age so that they have they can make some good informed choices as they move through the school to different careers. Uh, this is a great opportunity because people may not traditionally get an opportunity to work in the shop or work in a welding. You know, partnering up uh, through the CWA with the Iron Workers Trailer here is a great opportunity for youth to get involved. With everything that's gone on in the economy right now, we're trying to look at the youth because that's our future. We've got a large growing segment of Aboriginal youth in population that we're really working with and women in trades, uh, a lot of youth. We, we start our trades programs with youth and maker days, a, uh, you know, introduction to trades, sampler programs. We're starting a lot of that. We're trying to reach into the grade five and six so that they start getting exposed and that they start looking at what they may be interested in as a career. Trades are one path, university is a path. We need all sorts of people in our economy, but because we're the Industry Training Authority of British Columbia, we're focused on trades and apprenticeship. Ever since I was five years old, I looked up to my dad. He's an auto body, automotive mechanic. And ever since I was six or seven, I thought it was quite interesting whenever I saw welding in that environment. And that's been something I've been interested in ever since. And I'm just getting better all the time. Really enjoy it a lot. Generally, it's just communication with other people. I'm, I'm fairly good at lip reading. Not every deaf person is, but communication generally is the biggest challenge. Sometimes you're writing notes back and forth or you're teaching your colleagues how to sign as well to be able to communicate on the job site. There are opportunities in every single trades. I've been a tradesperson my whole life. I'm a Red Seal welder by trade. I've worked all over the world. Basically my trade when I started out never ever would have dreamed that it would have took me to the places or provided the opportunities. And if I wouldn't have had that trade, I wouldn't have had the opportunity. So it's just, it uh, provides a great life and a great lifestyle for families and uh, it's great for the economy in British Columbia. Yeah.